This is the standard Jewel Thief circuit. And this is my proposed enhancement. And here on my breadboard is the traditional or standard Jewel Thief. All the standard components are here, uh, exactly as pictured on the schematic. And the uh, traditional bifilier wound toroid coil. And it's being run by one and a half volt battery. I'm using a C cell, but it could be a double A or even a triple A because the, the uh, current draw is very, very small. So what I'd like to do for you is to light this thing up, connect the battery. And right now the capacitor is out of the circuit, so it's a traditional jewel thief right now. What I'm going to do is tilt it on its side to point the light right at the milliamp meter so you can read the milliamps and also see how bright the LEDs are reflecting off the meter. And I think I'll try turning off the room lights. Let's try that. Get a little closer. Okay. The shadow may fool you a little bit, but I can see that that's 80 milliamps. The capacitor is not in the circuit yet. I'm going to flip the switch and put the capacitor in parallel with the resistor that controls the voltage to the base of the transistor. And I don't know if you can notice the increase of light as well as a decrease of amperage being put into the circuit. So without the capacitor, the light is slightly dimmer and it's using more energy to run. With the capacitor, slightly brighter, using far less energy. It's reading 50 milliamps instead of 80. So that's a big reduction in power and even gives you better light. I tested out three different types of capacitors or three values I should say uh, to find out which one would give me the uh, the best output in terms of watts that's a combination of volts and amps together uh, the bottom line represents the point zero zero one microfarad capacitor which is almost no capacitance uh, so that's more like a regular jewel thief down there uh, the pink line middle line is a point one microfarad capacitor and the uh, the wattage output was much greater than uh, a normal jewel thief. Line up on top, I tested it out, uh, one microfarad capacitor. As the uh, amperage uh, increased going in from the 1.5 volt battery, the voltage and amperage went up to a certain point. Then the wattage actually collapses a little bit. Now all these uh, values were measured with no load. So these are no load measurements. Uh, so under real load you might have to pump in like 80 milliamps to get to this peak. Okay, I just want to mention that. Uh, so I do get more wattage output uh, with a one microfarad capacitor. It worked the best for me. Uh, I also want to mention though uh, with all the capacitors the voltage went up pretty smoothly as you increase amperage going in. Uh, the capacitor was changing mostly the amperage output as amperage, <coughs> amperage went in the amperage amount of input increased uh, so did the amperage output until a certain point and then it tapered off. So that's all reflected in the watts output over here in the big graph. So my one microfarad capacitor in parallel with the resistor going to a base of a transistor is my best choice for getting a, a, an LED light to be as bright as possible with as little input power as possible. Run out.